found an old operation game for four dollars but this is not the uh the original one because the dude does not have his cigarette i learned that by watching my buddy burf <laughs> What's up guys welcome to another epic episode of j philly retro toys guys this is epic number 69 guys thank you for clicking onto this video thank you for joining me for another toy hunt adventure today guys i'm so happy that you're here this is epic episode number 69 dudes um i'm not sure you know what we're gonna do to celebrate uh we're gonna do what we always do we're gonna go out and we're gonna try to find some freaking cool stuff some vintage toys guys it's been kind of a rough couple weeks since i've been back on the road back on the hunts uh haven't really found too much vintage um as far as toys go i found some vintage puzzles and you know some cool you know vhs and stuff like that um not a whole lot of vintage toys lately but uh hopefully our luck will change today uh we're gonna do some thrifting um maybe end up at the half off store which is not vintage but uh still pretty cool uh, but maybe not. We might and we might save that till next episode. Um, I'm I'm in the mood for some vintage stuff today, so let's go find some vintage toys. All right, guys. So I didn't expect to stop at a new store today, but uh, this is apparently a thrift store, Crescent Corner Thrift and Furniture. Uh, I've never been in here. Didn't know there was a thrift store out this way. This is Harleysville, Pennsylvania, and. Uh, I was actually working and making a delivery here in this area and saw this store. So, uh, yeah, I don't know if they have toys or not, but we're going to go check. All right, guys. So, yeah, this place is uh, kind of fancy. <laughs> I mean, it's got like, look at this. It's like, like a, a fancy thrift store. But they do have some games here. I haven't seen any toys yet, but they do have some games. Look at that. Roy Rogers and Trigger Pinball. How cool is that? Is that old? Or is that? Let's see. Um, I don't know. It looks old. It's from Schilling. Huh. Shut the box. Blink. This NFL showdown. There's a clue game. Anything good? Any like G.I. Joe puzzles or Transformer puzzles or Motu, WWE? Uh, I don't see anything. All right, guys. Well, I was just taking a second look at this and I didn't see this the first time, but look at this. I want $12 for that. It's cool, but not $12 cool. Guys, I got lots of DVDs and CDs down here, but nothing really. Look at this. I found this one. I have never seen this before. It's music from the Drew Carey show. <laughs> How cool is that? Got lots of Christmas stuff in here. But, uh... Guys, I think their toys might be limited to this. <laughs> oh, man. All right, guys. So we got the El Gordo Busto for sure at the, uh, what's this place called? Crescent Corner Thrift Store. Um, yeah, guys, what a waste of time. You know what? I think actually what this is, there's a sign right over here that says Peter Becker Community. And there's a couple entrances up and down the street that has the same sign. I think this might be like a retirement community and that might be like just the thrift store for the for the retirement community i guess i don't i didn't know you know i thought it was a regular thrift store they definitely didn't have any toys in there you guys saw they had uh, you know f a few puzzles a couple games and uh 
the one thing they did have that I was interested in was like way, way overpriced, that $12 pinball thing. Um, so yeah, nothing really. They did have some clothes. I saw a, a long sleeve, red long sleeve Under Armour shirt that I thought about getting for Steven, but they wanted $15 for it. And I'm no freaking way, man. That ain't, <laughs> anyway, El Gordo Busto. Let's go somewhere better. All right, are you guys ready? It's time to turn this video around. Look at this place today. Look how packed they are. You know why? Because I got a notification today that this morning on Facebook that uh, Liberty Thrift's 25, I don't know, is it 25 year anniversary? Maybe, I don't know. Anyway, they're celebrating their anniversary today and they're having a 25% off store-wide sale at all of their locations. So uh, Steven's with me. We're going to uh, go in here and see what we can find. Maybe we can, uh, you know, reverse our misfortune from yesterday. <laughs> Let's go see. All right, well, Steven's off. He's looking for jeans and shoes. We're gonna uh, head over here to the Liber Little Liberty section to see uh, what kind of toys they have today. They got lots of cars, train cars. They had these last time I was here. Uh, Scooby-Doo pop-up mystery. It's like a bag of uh, McDonald's toys. Uh, let's see. What is this? Rebel Fleet Trooper. That's cool. And some other Star Wars. Looks like a Mission Fleet. Blurg down here. Still got the Hot Wheels, 50 cents each. Anything interesting? What's this? That's kind of cool. Scooby-Doo. <laughs> that one's cool. kind of cool it's got a gun on the side <laughs> well they do still have a couple of the old puzzles that they had no the shiro one is gone they got the my little pony the bigfoot ones are all here the bigfoot one right there is only 9.99 that's not bad it's complete you got some old games that finance game i had that or i didn't have it i saw it at the bins the other day look at the price on that now 24.99 uh, it wasn't at this store, but uh, I probably could have got that for a couple dollars at the bin store. They want $24.99 for it here. Uh, I got some Cabbage Patch Kids. <laughs> wow, look at this thing, guys. This is pretty cool. I think it's Imagine X, probably. It's pretty huge, though. And this guy next to him is cool, too. And I got some cool puzzles. There's Spider-Man. Um... Nothing like, you know, She-Ra or whatever. All those are in the case over there. But, uh, let's see what's over here. Oh, this is the frame tree puzzles. Eh, not seeing much over here. How about games? Let's look at the games here. Um, seeing too much at first glance as far as games go I'll look around I'll let you guys know if I find anything and guys I found this awesome saved by the bell game they want $7.99 for it it says new but it's not new it's been taped together so I don't know what they mean by new um, that's pretty cool I don't know if I want to pay eight bucks for it though. If it was like four or five, yeah, I'd get it. I'm not sure I want to pay eight dollars though. Found an old operation game for four dollars, but this is not the uh, the original one because the dude does not have his cigarette. I learned that by watching my buddy Burf. <laughs> well, guys, they didn't have much as far as games, and their toys are. Uh, pretty wiped out as well like they don't have hardly anything today um let's see they got some rescue heroes i 
Um, some Batman play sets. Montreal, Canada. Okay. That's kind of cool. Uh, McDonald's toys. Yeah, man, not a whole lot here today. Huh. Alright, guys. Well, that was a bust in the toys. Still deciding about that Saved by the Bell game, but, uh, we're going to look through some DVDs. We're going to look through this bin of VHS. In fact, let me go ahead and do that right now. Five goes west. I might grab that. Uh, let's see. Casper. A spirited beginning. Uh, maybe. The rescuers. It's Mrs. Doubtfire. Um, Porky Pig. I like some Porky Pig. I might grab that, maybe. Let's see what else is over here. Oh, Foghorn Leghorn. Foghorn Leghorn is one of my favorite Looney Tunes characters. I'm definitely getting that. Um, Great Muppet Caper. Do I have that? I'm not sure if I have that or not. Let's see, I have this. Another Casper, Casper Saves Halloween. I kind of like this better than the Casper movie. I wasn't really a fan of the Casper movie. All right, so as far as VHS go, I think I'm gonna grab Fievel. Uh, I'm gonna grab Foghorn Leghorn. And uh, I'll probably grab this Casper too. Porky Pig, eh, he's okay, but yeah, I think these will do me for now. All right, so Steven found another bin on the other side here. Look what he found for me. Karate Kid 2 and Karate Kid 3. Definitely gonna grab those. Because I found this cool Muppet Show, or Steven found this cool Muppet Show DVD, three full-length shows. It's the 25th anniversary edition. I think I actually have these, though, on that uh, complete first season that I bought a few weeks ago. Um, it's got Mark Hamill, Paul Simon, and Raquel Welsh episodes. Yeah, I think, I think these are on that first season, uh, complete first season that I bought. Uh, guys, we just found another big bin full of VHS, so... I'm going to look through here, and I will uh, show you guys if I find anything cool. Guys, look at this VHS that I just found. How cool is that? The Battle of Gettysburg in miniature. Like, I wonder, is this, like, just somebody has it set up, like, in, like, miniature figures? There's no, there's no, oh yeah, look, with over 12,000 Civil War figures, Battle of Gettysburg in miniature brings to life the hundreds of... Oh my gosh, that's awesome, from 1988. I think I'm gonna get this just to check it out. That's pretty cool. Well guys, up here in the front counter, they do have uh, a few cool things. Those jet, those planes are cool. Um, not a whole lot that I'm interested in. I don't care about cars and die casts and stuff. This is cool, look at this. Did I show this last time? I think this might've been here last time. DJ Hero. It's like a whole setup. <laughs> uh, let's see. They got all their video games. Steven's looking. He doesn't see anything he likes, I don't think. Um, let's see. What else do they got? They got a lunchbox up there. It's a, just got a like a train on it. It's kind of a kind of a cool metal lunchbox up there. But, uh, yeah. Nothing else, really. I told Steven he should get this... Uh, Hank Williams Jr. dummy and be a ventriloquist with it. <laughs> uh, he didn't think that was funny. All right, guys. So that was uh, Liberty Thrift, the big Liberty Thrift, Sanatoga. Um, they had nothing, guys. Nothing as far as toys go. You guys saw the shelves were empty. Um, I did pick up a couple things. I picked up some VHS, 
put back some VHS, picked up a couple more VHS, put them back. You know, I went back and forth and uh, I got something else that uh, I showed you guys at the beginning of the video. Let's take a look. So guys, here's the VHS tapes that I got. I did get the Foghorn Leghorn uh, Looney Tunes. I got Karate Kid 2 and Karate Kid 3. Freaking awesome to find those on VHS. I don't think I've ever seen these on VHS before. Um, I put back, you know, a couple of the other ones I had in my hand that I was thinking about. Uh, put back the Gettysburg Miniatures. I was going to get that, but I was like, eh, am I really going to even watch that? But uh, probably not. <laughs> so I picked up the ones that I knew, you know, that I had some connection to. The ones that I, the ones that I loved. Um, the other reason I didn't buy all of those VHS that I had was because of this. I decided to grab the Save by the Bell game. <laughs> uh, it's $7.99 was the original price on it. But um, everything was 25% off in there today, like I said, because of their uh, anniversary sale. Plus, I had $1.18, I think she said, in credits. So, guys, everything, the game and the three VHS tapes, I think I paid $3, I'm sorry, uh, $6.38 or something for everything. So, can't beat that. It is, uh, it says new, like I said, um, on the tag they wrote new, but it is taped together so I'm not sure you know I'm, I'm assuming they mean complete I don't know who knows I'm just happy to uh, have picked this up this was really cool to be honest with you guys when I was editing my last video um, at Goodwill I actually saw this in my video that I took I didn't see it at the store but while I was editing I saw this in the video and I was like oh crap I can't believe I missed that Saved by the Bell game and I've been contemplating going back and picking it up I just haven't got over that way so when I saw this in this store, you know, I was like, yeah, I'm going to grab it. So really happy to uh, have the Saved by the Bell game. I don't know what it's like or, you know, how to play it. Oh, I guess it's only at Target. That's cool. Um, but uh, I don't know. I think it's cool. So, guys, that was my haul from Liberty Thrift. I, I told Steven, I said, dude, you don't know nothing about no Saved by the Bell, do you? He's like, no. <laughs> A whippersnapper. Uh, anyway, guys. Um, that's it for, uh, Big Liberty Thrift. Not sure where we'll go next, but stay tuned. All right, let's see. I'll just cut the tape open on this. I just want to take a look and see what it's like. There's the game board. Slater and Screech. <laughs> uh, oh, okay. So this is what it means by new. Looks like it hasn't even been opened at all. Um, yeah, everything's still sealed unpunched cool all right ready to play some uh saved by the bell sure. <laughs> let's go let's do it all right guys thanks so much for sticking around to this point of the video i really appreciate it guys we're going to do kind of a wrap-up segment here um not a whole lot of hunting this week unfortunately so i apologize for the slow hunt week this week. Uh, my family and I have both still been recovering from sickness. The wife is still kind of sick. Uh, so we're both, we've all been recovering and didn't get to go out to a lot of places this week. So I apologize for the, the lack of uh, hunt footage this week um, or this episode. I'm sorry. Guys, what I do want to do though is kind of just like a wrap up. Um, ever since I filmed that unboxing video of the Masterverse She-Ra figure a few episodes ago, um, I have gotten a couple of people sending me messages, uh, two or three actually, that have wanted to see my Masters of the Universe collection. So let's take a look. All right, guys, so this is my Masters of the Universe collection right now. Um, I don't have a whole lot at this point. At one point, uh, about a year ago, I had probably 15 or 20 uh, vintage figures that uh, unfortunately I decided to sell off. Um, well, I did it for like financial reasons and things like that, but, uh, this is what I have right now. I have this vintage whiplash. He's complete. Uh, I have the vintage Orco, which is complete with the ripcord back there. It's on the, on the shelf. Um, and this, uh, Zoar. No, not Zoar. This is, um, Skeletor's Falcon. I forget what the name is. Um, I have the Cyclone back there. He's missing his shield, but otherwise he is complete. Um, and then I have this She-Ra puzzle that I found at a thrift store. 
um, a couple weeks back. So that's it. That's all I have as far as vintage figures. I do have my Castle Grayskull up there. Um, but I would love to be able to display all these things together at some point. Uh, for Masterverse figures, I have a pretty good display here. I have the new Eternia He-Man and Skeletor there in the front. Um, there's the She-Ra figure. There's Tila. I got Sunman back there. I've got Merman. And I've got Trapjaw back there. So those are pretty cool. Guys, that is the extent of my Masters of the Universe collection right now. Uh, still got a long way to go. I'd love to have like a complete vintage collection of all the figures, but uh, someday. So again, guys, thank you so much for watching. I sincerely appreciate each and every one of you guys um, that watch my videos. I really do. Um, I love reading your comments. I love interacting with you guys. So if you want to, please feel free to leave me a comment. Guys, if you like vintage toys, if you like thrift store hunting, uh, you know, toy hunting, if you like yard sales and flea markets, uh, which I'm going to try to do much more of in coming up. I know summer's coming to an end, so uh, I got to get out there and do some more flea markets and some yard sales. Um, but if you like looking for vintage toys or modern toys or any kind of toys, puzzles, games, uh, VHS tapes, you know, anything like that from the 80s or 90s. Um, Guys, feel free to give me a like, uh, subscribe to the channel if you want to. Tell your friends and family about it. I would really appreciate that. That's how my channel is going to grow. Um, guys, thank you so much again. Uh, yeah, leave me a comment. Let me know uh, what you found this week. Or, you know, if you saw something in the stores that I showed you this week that, that I might have missed. Whatever. I love, I love talking to you guys. So anyway, guys, thanks so much. I appreciate it. Have a great rest of your week. Later.